Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to another Saturday video. So today we have lots of new unboxing to do. I'll be showing you guys every single Dominion Dinosaur with all the different scan codes, um, as well as all the new figures that we have collected from the past week. So let's get started. Okay, check this out. So we have two new uncaged figures to open up today. We'll also be unboxing the new Iguana Dawn. We've actually got a replacement because the one that we had from the store couldn't work. And this set as well, Owen Velociraptor and Blue, okay? This one we'll be unboxing next week, which is a brand new Takara Tomi playset. I'll also show you guys this that we have reviewed just a few days ago. Alright, so now we are going to Lever 2 Jurassic World Atlantis. So we will be reviewing the new figures as well as taking a look at all the different figures. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so now we are taking the new figures to Lever 2 Jurassic World Atlantis, where we will review all the different Dominion figures right over here. So let's go. Okay guys, I think we are ready to start. I've basically assembled all the different Dominion figures with all the scan codes right over here, including some figures from like Captive and of course on Cage as well. Okay, so let's begin. Okay guys, so I've basically forgotten to take my Fax app as well as all this mini wild pop-up. So let's review all of this together as well. All right guys, so let's begin with the first figure right here which is the Iguana Dawn. We have actually reviewed this last Saturday but our figure is actually damaged. So let's do another unboxing. So the shop, uh, the, the retailer was actually nice enough to give me a replacement. Okay, so we need to um, open up. I think the legs are actually stuck inside here. Okay, the figure is out. So now we just need to get the tail out as well. Just cut this string loose. And um, the other side is pretty much easy to take it out. Okay, so let's assemble the Iguana Dawn. Let's just pop the tail in. Easily done. And um, let's listen to the roars because we have already reviewed this last week. Okay, it's pretty cool. All right. So this is basically the scan code for the Iguana Dawn. You guys can actually scan this. I'll show you guys where I'm actually putting this Iguana Dawn. Okay, so this is basically the space where I will be putting um, the Iguana Dawn next to um, other dark built dinosaurs. You can see we have Edmontosaurus, Parasaurolophus, um, Oranosaurus right over here. So the Iguana Dawn will be sitting right over here instead of this section with the other Dominion herbivores. Okay, next figure, let's take a look at the Atroci Raptor Rowdy Ross from Uncaged. Okay, so this one is actually quite an adorable um, figure. This one has no scan code, but I think it's fine because uh, we need to do some unboxing as well. Let me just cut the string loose. Yes, I think it should be out by now. But there's still one more. No, I think we are, we are good. We should be able to get it out. Yeah, there you go. So this is basically... Um, let's turn on the sounds, I think. Oh! Why is it not working? Hmm, this is weird. Is it supposed to roar? I think it's supposed to roar. Oh, I think we need to put in the batteries. Okay guys, so the batteries are actually inside. So let's try this. There's a button right here. So once you press this button, the jaw will actually move. And if you place it on the ground, and you tap the bottom of the face like here, it will actually move. Yeah, it's very adorable. Okay, let's try this one once more. Tap the face, and it will move. Very cool, okay? So let's move on and take a look at our next set. Okay, the next set, let's um, check this out, which is the um, Pursuit Pack that contains Owen, Rain Delacorte, and an extreme damage blue, okay? So let's open this box up together. Um, I feel we need to like, you know, rip this box open because there are like no perforated lines or proper opening seam for you to actually open. So you need to like rip this box open like this. 
Okay, the box is out. So let's get all the figurines out from the box. So let's see. Let's take out Rain Delacord. Have you guys watched Jurassic World Dominion? Um, I'll be basically telling you guys like spoilers and stuff already because the movie has already been out for like two, two, a, a month or so. Yeah, so we can definitely talk about the movie right now, okay? So there you go, we have a brand new Extreme Damage Blue, okay? It's a new one, so you guys can um, also scan this in your effects app. Let's do the scan together as well, okay? Let's go. Okay, so let's begin scanning. Yep, we've got it quite fast this time. So you can see we have Extreme Damage Velociraptor Blue written right over here. So let's check out some facts, some basic facts that you know you guys are quite familiar with. Of course, we can do the um, AR as well. Just a quick one, just to show you guys. I think many of you guys have already seen this, so let's not spend too much time on this. Okay, quick comparison with the other blue. This one is actually the Ferocious Pack Blue, and this one is the um, Extreme Damage Blue. So of course, you guys can also scan this in your effects app to review two different um, blues in your app. Very cool, okay? So let's move on to our next figure. How about this Velociraptor? No, maybe not. not I mean, that is a Atrociraptor. Let's take a look at the Strike and Roar. Giganotosaurus right over here, okay? So I've just reviewed this a couple of days ago, so it's a really, really beautiful one, I must say. But I'm not a huge fan of um, the mechanism because it's like, you know, it's always bending in a one direction, which I'm not a huge fan of. But of course, you guys may want to scan this in your effects app as well. I'll just, you can just pause the video and scan this, okay? Nice. Yeah, I'll be doing a repaint of this Gigar very soon. I'm hoping to get another one really soon so that we can do a repaint, okay? Stay tuned for that one. All right, let's move on and take a look at some new figures that we have just obtained recently. Okay, how about this one? I really love this one, guys. This is actually the um, Lyopu Rudon, which is a prehistoric marine reptile. Okay, check this out. So it comes with a button right here. Very, very beautiful. Um, four flippers. Of course, you guys may want to scan this in your effects app. I've forgotten what does the name mean for Lyopleur Rudon. Let's take a look. Okay, so Lyopleur Rudon basically means smooth sided tooth after its teeth, which were smooth on one side. Okay, I'm not too sure about that. They look pretty sharp to me. Okay, Lyopleur Rudon, which is a uh, marine reptile. Nice, okay? I actually love this figure a lot, okay? It's one of my most favorite figures from Dominion. Let me show you guys my second most favorite, okay, maybe not second, one of my top five most favorite figures. It has to be this Ampelosaurus, guys. Okay, oh my goodness, the T-Rex is falling over. So we just reviewed this a couple of days back as well. Um, this is from the Wave 2. It's a really, really beautiful figure, I must say. Ampelosaurus, um, this is actually known as the Massive Action, if I'm not wrong. I can't remember, but I think so. Massive Action, there's no sounds to this, but it's a very, very cool figure. Um, I think you guys may want to scan this in the effects app as well. Let me just um, pull up the code for you guys to scan. Really beautiful sauropod, it actually has plenty of armor. Let's check out what does Ampelosaurus mean. Okay guys, so check this out. Ampelosaurus is actually known as the Vine Lizard from the late Cretaceous period, okay? So let's move on to our next figure, let's go. Okay guys, so a few days back, we basically just got this two brand new figures. They are actually from um, Captive Collection. They are actually from the Mega Egg, um, no, um, from the Surprise Eggs. The Mega Egg is a huge one, this is like the medium sized one. So we managed to get Gigar as well as Pyroraptor. To complete our set, there are only three figures, three medium-sized figures, okay? So yeah, very cool. Um, I think the next figure, let's take a look at this one, which is the uh, another Maui wall. Okay, this is actually, if I'm not wrong, this one should be Tiger. I'm not very sure, but it should be Tiger. Yeah, you know, so far we have the um, Dilophosaurus, we also have Blue, um, and the um, Trociraptor, yeah. We are still uh, waiting for our Pyroraptor. So let's get this out from the box. 
I'll be putting all this really adorable Rowdy Ross right over here guys, okay? This will be the section where I'll be placing my Rowdy Ross this corner right here. I basically reserved this space for like you know, new Dominion figures. So yeah. Okay, let's get this out. Okay, I think it's stuck. Let's get this out. Wow, okay, it took me quite a... <laughs> to use some force to get it out. So this is basically um, the Tiger, the Trociraptor Tiger, if I'm not wrong. Let's put in the batteries. Okay guys, so I've basically placed the batteries in, but I think we have forgotten to take a look at um, Owen and Rain Delacorte right over here. So you can see, this is basically another figure of um, Owen. Oh, we have forgotten to take out um, the knife, which is right over here. So let's get this out. There's actually like, like a little tape right here, so you need to like peel this off. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. Let's get this out. So this knife, you can basically put it um, in Owen's hand like this. It's really tiny, it's not easy, but I don't recommend you to do that because this knife can go missing quite easily. So insert this knife into the um, sheath right over here so that it's um yeah so that it's kept properly very beautiful so owen wearing a red shirt and um jeans denim jeans and this is basically rain delacorte one of the um poachers um or should i say like you know he's in charge of like transporting the dinosaurs so yeah he's a villain in jurassic world dominion Looks very cool. Seems like you can actually remove the jacket, which is kind of cool. Let's take a look at um, the other Owen figure and other villain right over there. Okay, so this is basically the other Owen figure. You can see he's wearing a, a different outfit. And um, this lady right here is basically Santos, um, another villain in the movie. So I'll be putting all the new figures right over here, okay? I think they are not able to stand well, probably. Oh yes, able to stand well. So I'll be putting the figures right over here. Um, to be honest, I'm not like a huge fan of collecting human figures. Yeah, I prefer to collect dinosaurs. But I'll be placing them right over here, as well as the Camp Cretaceous one. You can see my collection is all neatly arranged. Oh, why do we have an old one in Claire right here, <laughs> okay? Okay, next, let's try this out. This is basically a Trociraptor Tiger. Um, have to switch it on. Okay, let's try this. Tap the bottom of the head like this. And you can see it will move. Pretty cool. Okay, let's try this once more. Super adorable. The eyes don't light up but they are still very, very adorable, okay? Let's move on and take a look at our other figures. How about, let me show you guys some of the ones that I really like. I think this one is um, super cute and adorable. This is basically a Pseudoceratops baby. So a Pseudoceratops will be in the movie, the adult one as well as, um, you know, the baby one. The baby one, um, Dr. Ellie Settler was actually petting it at the bio scene. Uh, sanctuary okay so this i think this is the one that she, she was petting very beautiful one you can actually move the head all the legs can be moved so here's a code for you guys to scan yeah super adorable one okay let's move on and take a look at other figures we just got you know four brand new not snap squad these are actually known as wow pop-ups so check this out this is actually um a new one models intrepidus Okay, check this out, Moros Intrepidus right over here. So, Moros Intrepidus was also at the Biosyn Sanctuary. Um, it's a pretty small dinosaur from what we have um, seen. Okay, so this is the code for you guys to scan. Let's check out what are some facts about the Moros Intrepidus. Okay guys, so Moros Intrepidus is actually a genus of Tyrannosaurid Theropod, okay? Its name is actually known as Harbinger of Doom. Alright, let's proceed um, to our next figure. Let's take a look at some of the newer figures first. How about this one? Rugops, Rugops, <laughs> Rugops Primus. This is actually from the um, Ferocious Pack, which is like the new version of Attack Pack. So you can actually slide this up. And here you go, the code for you guys to scan in effects app as well. 
Rugop's primers. Do you guys know what does the name mean? Because I can't remember. Let me do some research right now. Okay, so Rugops is actually known as the Rinker face. I'm not too sure why, because when you take a look at the face, it doesn't really have much wrinkles. So that is, um, you know, I have to find out about this one. It's basically an Abelosaur, okay? All right, let's move on to our next figure. Which one should we take a look at? How about this one? This is actually another new one, which is a Giga, a small little wall pop-up Gigas from the Young Kitsch. So I really feel that this is such a nice upgrade from the um, previous Snap Squad because the previous Snap Squad can only open its jaw, but for this, you're able to move the legs and the eyes will actually blink, which is kind of cool. Okay, this is another new one. This is actually the um, Therizinosaurus. Wow, oh my goodness. Therizinosaurus is such an awesome dinosaur in the movie. I mean, in the final battle, Therizinosaurus basically incapitated um, uh, the Giga. So the spikes, I mean, not, not, not the spikes, the claws basically went right through the Giganotosaurus, which is simply, simply awesome. I love the final battle, okay? So this is basically the um, Therizinosaurus. I think it is so beautiful. In the movie, I love the scene where it was trying to capture um, Claire. Yeah. Uh, it was actually blind, so it couldn't really see very well. So it could only listen and you know smell and basically use its other senses to try to like capture Claire. But Claire was like so fortunate to have escaped from the attack from the Therizinosaurus, which is awesome. So right here you can see this is basically the code for you guys to scan. This is basically known as the sound slashing Therizinosaurus, which is awesome. Okay. So there are like a um, couple of buttons. I mean, there's only one button right here, but you're able to move the tail, which will in turn move the body. So this is such a fun um, figure, but super, super noisy, <laughs> okay? I'm not really a huge fan of it because it is so loud, okay? Let's move on. I mean, not a huge fan of the roars. Okay, next, let's move on to um, the next one, which is the uh, Mega Raptor. Megaraptor is also another one which is um, newly released. Okay, check this out. So this is basically the code. For, where's the code? Right here. This is the code for you guys to scan. Okay, so Megaraptor, I, from what I know, is known as the giant teeth. Okay, it is actually not related to raptors. Let me find out more. Okay guys, so this is basically some information about the Megaraptor, which is known as the giant teeth. It is actually related to a Tyrannosaur as well as a Coelosaur. And speaking of Coelosaurs, we do have a new Coelosaurus right over here. So in case that you guys do not know, we actually have a different one from the previous Jurassic World series. And this is the Extreme Damage Coelurus. Check this out. Um, of course, it has its own code for you guys to scan as well. Okay, Coelurus right over here. All right, and of course, Tyrannosaur, we do have this, which is known as the um, Thrash and Devourer, not Indominus Rex, Thrash and Devourer of um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a very cool one. I actually love this figure a lot. You know, I actually hope um, they um, produced this Gigar, you know, maybe in a similar kind of um, mechanism as this T-Rex. I think it would be way better. Rather than this one, which is so weird, you, you can't really move the Giga to a neutral pose. Okay, so this is basically the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can actually scan this in your facts app as well, okay, which will reveal, um, you know, some facts about the T-Rex. So T-Rex in Jurassic World Dominion movie, it was actually defeated by the Giga. Not just once, but twice, okay? The first time they were actually fighting over a, um, um, a prey, which is like a, I can't remember what was it. I think it was like a goat or something like that, or was it like a small little dinosaur? So that the Gigar actually chased the Tyrannosaurus Rex away during the first fight, okay? There was like no clear winner. But in the final battle, the Gigar actually knocked the Tyrannosaurus Rex out. It was like actually unconscious for a couple of seconds until 
Fairies and Dinosaurus came to the rescue, okay? So while Fairies and Dinosaurus was fighting the Giganotosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is Rexy, okay, the very first T-Rex from Jurassic Park, actually woke up and um, pushed Giganotosaurus into the sharp claws of the Fairies and Dinosaurus, which totally destroyed and killed the Giga. So yeah, I actually like um, the Fairies and Dinosaurus a lot, but it's very sad to see <laughs> Rexy keep, keep on losing to um, a lot of dinosaurs out there. I mean, I mean, it is definitely a smaller dinosaur, you know, as compared to like an Indominus Rex or the Giganotosaurus. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge T-Rex fan and it's kind of um, sad to see it getting defeated all the time. Okay, let's move on. Let's take a look at the other figures. How about um, another new one is actually this. Cosmo Ceratops. Okay, this is actually not from Dominion. It's actually a legacy collection figure. So you can actually scan this. Okay, Cosmo Ceratops. Uh, yeah, very nice figure as well. Let's move on to take a look at other figures. Dimetrodons. Um, let me just put this one first because it's kind of like falling over. Okay, we have two Dimetrodons right over here. So in the Ember Cave, there are actually a lot of different Dimetrodons. So, and the Dimetrodons are actually in red and green in the movie. So it's very nice to see them like coming to life. Okay, there will be another Dimetrodon coming out together with um, Dr. Alan Grant. Okay, so check this out. This is the um, Extreme Damage one. You can pull this up to scan this in your effects app. Here's another one. I, I love this color more. This is actually from the um, Ferocious pack. Another beautiful Dimetrodon. I think we have already scanned this in our effects app. So I'm still waiting for the um, third Dimetrodon to, um, you know, to reach my country. And here is another Legacy Collection one, which is the um, Paris Rollifers. You can also scan this in your effects app. I'm still waiting for the big one. There's actually like a blue Paris Rollifers coming up. I think that will be awesome, okay? Okay, next, let's take a look at the Mosasaurus, okay? So this is basically the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus. It is basically the same as the, um, um, the other one, which is um, also in dark blue. So yep, you can actually scan this. There's actually a code right over here. So Mosasaurus wasn't really featured a lot in the new movie. Um, it was featured right at the beginning, the opening scene. You can see the Mosasaurus like attacking a fish vessel, pulling down the entire cage of fish, okay? Next up, the Lophosaurus will be featured heavily. I mean, it is featured heavily in um, Jurassic World Dominion. So it was actually, you know, trying to attack um, Claire. Okay, so you can also scan this in the effects app. Oh my goodness, the sticker is like coming off. Okay. Yeah, very cool to see the Dilophosaurus back in action again. Okay, let's move on to other figures. How about the Young Tronosaurus? Young Tronosaurus is actually not in the movie. I mean, not according to my understanding. I didn't manage to spot it. I don't think it is in the movie, okay? So this is basically the uh, massive action Young Tronosaurus. In case that you guys don't know, Young Tronosaurus is actually known as the Young Tron Lizard. It is a theropod discovered in China. Very, very beautiful um, figure. It looks a little bit like a huge Dilophosaurus to me. I mean, if you take a look at this two crest right over here. Okay, moving on, Quetzalcoatlus will be, I mean, Quetzalcoatlus is in the movie. It was actually attacking um, Kayla Watts and um, Owen when they were in the plane. Very nice, okay? So flip this up. You can actually scan this in your code. Very, very beautiful, okay? So yes, Quetzalcoatlus. Let's move on to our next figure. Um, how about this two? Have you guys seen this? I mean, how many of you got, how many of you have not actually seen this before? So this is, these are basically the sound search figures. I think they are quite cool. Very small little figure. I'm thinking of doing a repaint of this, but I think many of you guys were actually asking me to do a repaint on this one instead. I've actually saw, um, if I'm not wrong, it was like, his name I think is Neddy Vader. He actually did some modifications and um, he removed um, the Gigar and he made, made, made it into like a neutral pose. I think it's really, really awesome. 
I'm gonna watch his um, tutorial to see how we can actually do it. Okay? Um, yeah, so this is basically the sound search one. Awesome figure. Okay, let's move on and take a look at the other figures. We also have this, which is known as the um, Mira Gaia, I think. Is this a Mira Gaia? I think so. Maybe let me scan this, because I can't remember, guys. Let's scan this. Okay, so let's scan this. I think it's a Mira Gaia, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's a Mira Gaia, okay? Mira Gaia is actually known as the beautiful Earth Goddess because it is really such a beautiful Stegosaurid, okay? Um, we have covered this, Queemosaurus, okay? This is another one that was released like quite recently. Extreme Damage Queemosaurus. Queemosaurus, I think it's known as the Queemay Lizard, if I'm not wrong, I can't remember, but I think so. Okay? We also have um, Beta. Beta right here for you guys to scan. So Beta is basically Blue's baby. There'll be lots of Velociraptors coming out as well. So this is another one. Okay, I don't think this Velociraptor is actually in the movie. The, the only Velociraptor that was in the movie was basically Blue and Beta. Another Velociraptor. This one actually came with a truck. In case that you guys don't know, it is the truck sitting right over there. Yeah, that little truck with that um, mechanical arm. Okay, there are four Atrociraptors in the movie. We have um, Red. Okay, we have Red. We have Ghost. Ghost is the one that is most easily recognizable. We also have Pantera. I'm not sure which one is actually Tiger. Um, this one could be Red or this one could be Tiger. But we are still waiting for the last um, Atrociraptor. For the um, herbivores, I don't remember seeing Sinoceratops. I think maybe. Okay, this is basically the um, Raw Strikers. You can scan this in the effects app. Triceratops. Um, I don't re really remember seeing the Triceratops. Okay. Ankylosaurus. Was Ankylosaurus in the movie? Not to my knowledge, guys. Do you guys remember? I don't think so. I don't think it was in the movie. Yeah. Okay, and that leaves us to um, this two right here, which is the um, Scorpio Vanator. Okay. Can scan this. Rahasaurus. And Allosaurus. Allosaurus Extreme Damage one right over here. Beautiful one. All right. Yeah, I think that's about it, guys. How about, yeah, I think we still have a couple of, um, you know, wild pop-ups. This is basically the T-Rex, the Lophosaurus. Um, Carnotaurus is really beautiful. Oh, and speaking of Carnotaurus, I think we have yet to um, take a look at this. Yeah, this is basically the Carnotaurus. Awesome figure. All right. And our last figure to go through will be this one, which is the Sunga Ripteris, another prehistoric flying reptile. I think this one will be um, a little bit difficult to scan. Okay. Um, oh, yes. I've promised to show you guys what is inside this. This is basically a um, my busy book. It's actually quite a nice little book um, I've got from um, online. You can basically find some information about some of the um, dinosaurs in Dominion and um, it actually comes with some minifigures. The minifigures are great. You have um, a T-Rex. I mean they are not like super nicely detailed. Of course the quality is not as great as um, what you can find from like you know the Mattel ones or the um, captive ones. Therizinosaurus, I think this one looks decent. Um, Giga. Giga is my most favorite so far. Allosaurus. Allosaurus is actually in the movie as well. Ghost. The blue Parasaurolophus, which Owen was trying to capture right at the beginning of the movie. Pyroraptor, the dinosaur that was attacking Kalar and um, Owen. The Lophosaurus, the one that was attacking Claire. Of course, we have blue. Dimatrodon was trying to attack Dr. Ellie. 
um, Ellie Settler, Alan, Alan Grant, and um, I can't remember who else. Yeah, and these are basically some minifigures from um, oh, Trooper Troops. Yeah, so yeah, we've got plenty of um, really, really cool figures. Yeah, hopefully you guys actually enjoyed this video. Okay, next week um, I will be unboxing a lot of lot of other cool stuff. Plenty of um, Jurassic World Dominion figures from Takara told me. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.